All right, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Wawakakwadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well, including you women, to the dead in Yahweh Shai also, and the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel, none of this would even be possible. All right. So I'm going to try to be as patient as I can with this lesson. This is like my fourth attempt within 15 minutes due to things just happening. So bear my frustration if you kind of sense that or don't. So I'm going to go to the book of Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 4. Thus said the Lord my power feed the flock of the slaughter how do we feed the flock of the slaughter who is the flock of the slaughter we feed the flock of the slaughter by teaching the word written in the bible prophesying okay thus saith the lord my power feed the flock of the slaughter the flock of the slaughter the flock is israelites OK, because in this world, being under the curses, we're like prey under our oppressors. So we have to feed our people. It's not it's not talking about setting up a, a, a food stand. It's not talking about invest in a, a, a business and set up a restaurant so you can feed people within your your community, within your area. You feed your people through the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's that's what we are sent here to do. But not only preach the word, preach the word in truth and in sincerity. Not only teach the word in truth and in sincerity, but also with brotherly love. You can bring out 50 videos a day. But if you got you know, ill thoughts towards certain brothers. You got to watch out because you might have an ill feeling towards a man who the Lord is dealing with, who the Lord favors, and he may even favor that man over you. So we have to feed the flock of the slaughter to the best of our ability. Because that is our duty, that is our job. Some brothers are more diligent than others. We have to consider brothers have different things going on in their lives. Like the Lord just blessed me the opportunity because I've been working 3 to 11 for some time now. Now I should be able to produce, you know, more videos. Although, you know, I'm working a rotate shift now, but the rotate shift actually gives me more time during the day. Than when I was working 3 to 11. So now I'll be able to feed the flock more, Lord willing. That is my goal. Thus saith the Lord, my power feed the flock of the slaughter who possess or slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich and their own shepherds pity them not. So that's us. That's our people. And our possessors slay us and they hold themselves not guilty. Not guilty. I mean, one example, we, we've all heard about it. The Trayvon Martin case. And even to this day, the man who slew Trayvon Martin still walks around the earth. And no one has touched him. Not even an Israelite. But our people will be quick to want to grab a gun and get carnal. Because a man bumped their shoulder or stepped on their shoes and didn't apologize. Or he may have stepped on their shoes, apologized, and there's still a problem. But when it comes to a man of another nation, specifically Edom, when they slay our people, it's like they just get away with it. We got to feed the flock of the slaughter. Tell them the truth. Because the elect is among them and they're predestined to wake up. Okay, let's go to the book of John.
chapter 21, verse 14. This is now the third time that Yahweh Shai showed himself to his disciples after that he was risen from the dead. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon, Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto me, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto me, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? So if someone asks you the same question three times in a row, that can be a little irritating. You might get a little aggravated. It can be grievous, right? But there's a reason why Yahweh Shai did that. He was emphasizing how serious it is to feed the flock of the slaughter. Okay? He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said, said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Feed my sheep. So, we have to feed the flock of the slaughter. We have to feed the sheep. And how do we do that? By teaching the word. So if you love Yahweh Shai, you are going to teach the word. And there's a lot of men who claim to be teaching the word. But, does that mean that they love Yahweh Shai? Still, you got to dig further because when you look in the scriptures, there's a there's a line of things that we must do. So just as we are to teach, we're to prophesy and bring out the word and feed the flock. You don't just feed the flock. You got to show brotherly love to the flock, too. Let's go to the book of first John. First John chapter four and verse 20. If a man say, I love the power and hated his brother, he is a liar. So just like when Yahweh Shai asked Peter three times if he loved him. And he said, yay. And Yahweh Shai said, well, if you love me, feed my sheep. Right. Well, there's a lot of men who may be feeding the sheep, but may have hatred in their heart towards certain brothers who are of the elect. If a man, this is 1 John 4 and 20. If a man say, I love the power and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother who he hath seen, how can he love the power whom he hath not seen? And that can apply to Yahweh Shai also. We haven't seen Yahweh Shai in this body, in this lifetime. But you claim to love Yahweh Shai, but then when you see a brother who's really done, he's done nothing wrong to you. You got a jealousy in your heart about him. Brother might even have less than you. You know, I remember back in the world just going through this often. You know, somebody will have more than you and they'll still find reasons to be jealous over you. And I've never been the type of man to say, hey, look at me. Look what I got. Look, I'm better than you. But throughout my life, I've always dealt with jealousy. And jealousy is is a is a huge thing when it comes to, you know, somebody just despising you and hating you. There's men who can bring out a hundred videos a day and they have jealousy in their heart. You have men who may bring out lessons and their fuel is just I, I'm more I just want to show that I'm more diligent than this brother. You know? If a man say I love the power and hated his brother, he is a liar, for he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love the power whom he hath not seen? And that makes perfect sense. Let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians. Chapter 13 and verse 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, and I have not charity, I am nothing. 
And part of that charity is showing brotherly love. Okay? Not showing brothers love, man. And don't get me wrong, you know, like, brothers may feel a certain way because you didn't say shalom or something and it wasn't intentional. It wasn't, you know, because you were trying to be shady and standoffish, but the brother may have took it that way. So we have to consider all things. We have to just be careful. Tread, tread, tread real careful when you're around brothers because a brother may do something to offend you. And really, he, he didn't even acknowledge it. It wasn't even what you thought. Or maybe it is what you thought. But that's also the importance of being able to go to brothers about when you feel something. Okay? Without being rah-rah and, and trying to, you know, throw hands. Okay? And though I have the gift of prophecy. So you can prophesy. That's how you feed the flock. You know? You, you, you give out the words within the scriptures. And, and a lot of the word goes into prophecy that's the spirit of Yahweh Shai so you can have the spirit of prophecy in you and still lack and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity I am nothing okay so prophesying without brotherly love you're still <laughs> disqualified OK, you still got to have love for brothers, man. And having love for brothers don't mean you got to talk to them all the time. OK, but, you know, anytime you around them, brothers, it's all love. Just like uh, I have a, a brother. I haven't spoke to him in quite a while. A brother out in uh, Kansas City, uh, my lawyer. And uh, he is the first man that I've met. In Israel, period. In terms of, you know, physically in this body, he was the first man I was introduced to. We met, you know, the brother's beautiful and, and me and him, we have so much in common to where it's scary. You know, we have our differences, too, but we have so much in common, you know, to where it shows you like, yeah, me and this brother, we had to have known each other. But I'm sure me and him, we may do things where we may feel a certain way because of our spirit. But, you know, deep down inside, when you observe, I know this man would never, you know, really do something to offend me purposely. Just like I would hope in the spirit, he'd know I would never do anything to offend him purposely. Okay, so so you got to have love for the body, man. You know, and he's going to always hold a special place in my heart, because as I said, he was the first uh, man I've met in Israel. And and he, he opened his arms up to me. You know, he let me... Uh, Stay the night in his crib and everything, man. So I had to uh, give reverence to him right quick. This is Ephesians chapter four and verse three. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. There is one body. So although there's a lot of us teaching throughout the world, we're, we're still one body. Okay. Just like the head may be spaced away from the feet. They're still on the same body. There is one body, one spirit, as ye have called and one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. So there's not a thousand truths, okay? There's no, oh, that's my truth and that's your truth. No, there's one truth, okay? One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Okay, so we're one body. So why would why would the feet have animosity against the eyes the eyes help to guide you the feet is the is 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 what grounds the body it's like the foundation of the body that holds up the whole body okay the head it might oversee everything but the head without the body what's going to hold it up why would the ears Hate the eyes. It's one thing to hear, but it's another thing to hear and see. So we're all one body, man. Okay? So if you love Yahweh Shai, you are going to feed the flock. And not only are you going to feed the flock, you're going to do it with love in your heart, man. Okay? You're not going to do it with animosity. You're not going to show diligence to, just to show that I'm more diligent than this, brother. I knew I could, I knew I could be more diligent than him. You know, it's not about animosity. 
Okay? It's all about brotherly love, man, and waking up the elect of the nation of Israel through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So, uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, and I believe it is. You know why? Because if you come out the scriptures, I feel like there's really no need <laughs> to really question if it's edifying, you know? So, all praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wa Rakakwadash. Shalom.